now we're going to kick it up to 3,000 RPM and hit that drone. There is nothing worse than spending your hard-earned money on a nice catback exhaust for your new car and putting it on and realizing it doesn't quite meet your expectations. And when I say it doesn't quite meet your expectations, I mean you get that annoying sound at about 70 miles an hour on the highway. It sounds like there's this slight humming behind your ear and it creates this ever so annoying amount of pressure in your head that just makes it feel like your head is going to explode. It's that thing that you can't even focus on the sound of your sweet Tupac Shakur mixtape. Can't even quite play through the speakers the right way because all you hear is that humming noise in your eardrums. But fear not, because some exhaust manufacturers out there have created what people would consider to be relatively up solid solution when there's some exhaust manufacturers that have really awesome patented things that actually eliminate exhaust drone altogether. So fear not, we're gonna be getting into all of those details later, but let's jump right on into what is exhaust drone and can, can you eliminate it? For me, the perfect exhaust is one that increases the volume ever so slightly, enough to where I can hear what's happening uh, through the back end of my car, and hear these different RPM changes so that I know when I'm at the top of my red line. It's also gonna lower the tone of my exhaust, so it takes it down just a couple of octaves, gives you that nice low growling noise that I think a lot of us have come to expect from an aftermarket exhaust. Less than ideally, you put on an aftermarket exhaust, and you end up with that weird humming noise. You end up with that exhaust drone. And I think every time we post a video on the internet about a catback exhaust, the number one question we get is, how bad is the drone? Or does it drone? Something about the droning. And it's what every one of you, in my opinion, on the other side of this camera, on the other side of the internet, are wanting to know is, if I buy this exhaust, is it gonna sound super annoying? Or is it gonna be perfect like I'm really thinking it's gonna be? So let's dive into that a little bit more. What is exhaust drone exactly? Exhaust drone is the vibrating sound that occurs in vehicles most often at steady highway speeds and is caused by the engine and exhaust system vibrating at incompatible frequencies. And the part that makes these inconsistent frequencies the most annoying is that the exhaust drone creates a pressure wave that actually finds its way into the cabin of your car. And that's where you get that super annoying drony noise. There's a lot of factors that go into creating that exhaust drone. Some of them may be facts, some may be more uh, hypothesis. Vehicles with larger cabins, in theory, could be more prone to experiencing exhaust drone. You won't find that in a Tupac song. You will find exhaust drone potentially in a car that has a larger cabin space, one that could be like our Type R. Another thing that could lead to uh, increasing the likelihood of exhaust drone is the placement of the tips of the catback, where it actually exits exits out of the rear of the car. So why don't you experience drone with a stock vehicle? When you have a stock downpipe and a stock catback exhaust, I've never heard anyone come to the table and say that they have exhaust drone. It's just not a problem that people incur. And that's because OE manufacturers have some incredible testing facilities and let's just say budgets to ensure that that scenario never happens for you. And this all leads me to my next point. And obviously the title of this video is why do exhausts drone? But the real question that I know you wanna know and the one that I wanna answer is how do you actually defeat the exhaust drone. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are companies out there that have created products and technology that can actually help defeat the exhaust drone. So how do you drone out the, the drone? So that leads me to talking about the sponsor of today's video, and that is AWE. So AWE, some of our great friends over there, We've had some extensive conversations with them about numerous things, and one of the things that they're known for selling the most of is exhausts. While they do make intakes and other products as well, this is their primary focus. I would say that exhaust components are quite literally their bread and butter. And with that, they've created some incredible technology that helps defeat the drone, and that is the 180 degree technology. So what exactly is 180 degree technology? It sounds like a really cool term. And what happens is they've created a separate section of the exhaust where these annoying frequencies make their way into and then have to bounce all the way back through and exit that chamber again before finally exiting out the back of your exhaust. That's really strategically 
positioned to ensure that that drone doesn't happen on your exhaust. Each vehicle is gonna be slightly different with the propensity to have exhaust drone, which is why the size and location of the ports in their 180 degree technology are optimized for each vehicle that AW makes an exhaust for. So the sound waves that travel through your exhaust are going to move from the ports to the back of the resonator then back through the ports and out through the end of your exhaust, which again is what it is that is canceling the drone. Now the part about all of this that's actually defeating the drone is that the sound waves actually collide before re-entering the free flowing exhaust, creating an out of phase frequency that actually cancels the exhaust drone. So in all of this, the simplest way to put it is that AWE has taken an exhaust drone and they've gone and laid down that reverse UNO card to go ahead and flip the script on those bad boys and cancel culture exhaust drone. So with that being said, the 180 degree technology that AWE has used in all of their exhausts is what goes and actually makes some of these exhausts so great. Uh, you'll find exhausts from them on our website ranging from the BRZ to the WRX, STI, Civic Type R, and more. So if you're looking for an exhaust that's on the louder end of the spectrum, you might be looking for one of AWE's track exhausts. And if you want the touring version, which is more of a gentleman's exhaust, if you will, it is also not going to ruin that in-cabin experience as you drive around with friends or again, try to listen to Picture Me Rolling. I'm gonna have to go ahead and listen to that on my way home if I'm not jamming out to Scotty Doesn't Know, but I'm really a fan of either of these music genres and I'm also a fan of AWE. So if you guys are interested in any of these cat packs, feel free to go ahead and check them out on our website, emmyperformance.com. And if you enjoyed this video covering more broad automotive topics just like this one, go ahead and let us know down in the comments below, leave us a thumbs up, and hopefully we see you in the next one. Until then, keep your exhausts free of drone. We're gonna go ahead and start that drone cancel culture today. And uh, we'll ride out into the sunset listening to Picture Me Roll. Have a good one. <laughs>